Hi guys, my name is Austin Good and I'm with the Loyola. I'm introducing a new segment called 100 Yard Lectures where we interview professors, educators, anybody of expertise on the Loyola Marymount campus to talk about contemporary issues that face us right now. So let's get started. Um, so the first question is, what on in a college environment like LMU, what diseases are best effective or most effective um, with the vaccine? Uh, well, especially in a college campus where people are living in dorms and spending, a lot of people are spending uh, a lot of time close to each other. Things like measles, mumps, rubella, uh, meningitis, those are really important vaccines. Uh, for students to be vaccinated against because they spread in this kind of environment. So in our in our present day society, we have this conflict that's arising between vaccines and anti-vaxxers, those who are opposed to vaccines. So is there any truth to their claims against vaccines? Well, you know, there's always, vaccines are, when they're released to the general public, it's after rigorous scientific study uh, uh, confirming their safety and there's a standard called generally regarded as safe. So there's no vaccines released that aren't con generally considered safe. Now generally doesn't mean 100% of the time. There is no 100% medicine. Yes, some people who get vaccines will get a reaction. Some can get serious reactions, but for the majority of people, uh, other than local soreness, um, the vaccines are safe and, and their benefit to prevent uh, uh, life-threatening illnesses is clear and, 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 and they're safe. So when you as a physician come in contact with someone that's an anti-vaxxer, how do you approach the situation? Well, uh, it can be difficult because, you know, my physician side says, look, they're safe, you know, take them. Why is there every, why is there, why are we even having this discussion? But the reality is, um, Education is very important. Some people just don't know. They've heard things. Maybe they saw something on the internet. Uh, and so you have to kind of uh, be respectful and be educational. Uh, I, I bring up some of my own experience. A very good friend of mine, um, another vaccine I should have recommended was HPV vaccine. A good friend of mine's wife, somebody I went to medical school with, died of cervical cancer at 50, leaving behind her husband and two kids, three kids. And uh, so it's personal for me, especially when it comes to things like um, HPV vaccine and, and how they can save lives. Had she had that vaccine, she'd probably be alive today. So uh, we also forget that, you know, uh, measles used to kill two million people a year worldwide. And uh, just because uh, we don't have those kind of deaths anymore, doesn't mean we can take our foot off the gas. We have to remain vigilant. Uh, there's new diseases emerging, Ebola, Marburg virus, things like that, that can spread. And um, so the sort of battle goes on. Uh, there's an anti-science thing going on, which I don't completely understand, but you know, I try to be uh, passionate and honest and uh, uh, try to give people the facts and uh, hope they make the right decision. That's really all.